Well, hello, Liberty Plains Baptist Church, and hello to anyone that might be tuning in. Um, you know, today's Friday. You know, today we would be, you know, going through a, a catechism question, um, and I I had really enjoyed them, and you know, I had been kind of you know thinking and praying, like, hey, I can. You know, we we can continue, um, you know. For for most, if not all, who have tuned in, you know, it's it's been a good array of questions, right? That's what a catechism is, and you know, there's other catechisms like the Westminster. The, how can't even say that one right now, <laughs> but. That that I would definitely look at and, and say, hey, you know, maybe we can go through those as a, at a later date. But as of right now, uh, we just want to announce this here because you know we we don't, you know, we we don't want to go through the new city catechism anymore. Um, so we are we are actually in the process. We're going to delete all those videos, and we're going to start afresh. Um, you know when we. I think it was before Easter time, um, with everything going on, uh, we had started the New City Catechism. I have read, you know, question and answer one in service and everything, and, and even uh, question 52, you know, and, and they're good questions, um, you know, good a good thing. But, you know, I think this is a process of, you know, good things can, you know, lead astray. Uh, and you know it's it's the process of that the, the people that made this catechism are no longer uh, abiding in God's truth. They they have and that's the Gospel Coalition has founded this catechism. It's it's headed up by several people who, I mean yes I I can I can name names. A lot of them are in the commentary section of of that, but I. I have come to the realization that they support what is going on right now. And, you know, all, all of it aside from, from everything that, you know, we might hear uh, or maybe not hear about, is that this, this era of American history and what is going on in our streets, what is going on in our media, what is going on everywhere is an all-out attack and not just on police officers, but it is attack on the structures that God has made. That is government, that is the church, and that is family. And these are these are issues that, that God cares about, so we care about them, right? And we are we are biblically centered as a church. That is our you know scripture alone stance is that the, the we believe that the bible is fully inspired and inherently inspired from god every every you know everything of it is inspired so we hold to what god says and we care about what he cares about now when i say that when i say hey they've gone to the other side what do i mean it means in the process of revelation, you know, talking about revelation and then saying it, of a revealing of, of what is BLM. What is BLM? I, you know, and, and looking at it, I, at first glance, I could clearly see in my training that I've had that this is a Marxist organization. This is all about taking down authority structures and seeing it in the in the fact that you know no we will we will fight tooth and nail to not just reform and defund but also even kill the cops so we will have the arena of not just the public square but the arena of the mob do our work and that has in a way worked for a time but now we can see that there is a counterculture move against BLM and that as that takes place and as, I, I don't know if if you have been, but the the 
uncertainty and the strangeness of all of this stuff. You know, I couldn't really put my finger on it until this week. And I'll, and I'll put this in the section. It's actually, a, you know, not that I say, hey, go watch Glenn Beck. Um, but I, I'm going to I'm going to put the the copy and paste the actual video uh, so you can go to the link and watch it yourself. But I, I uh, caught this on on Glenn Beck uh, this last this last week. And it is literally talking about the fact that BLM is not just a, a political movement. It is a spiritual movement. And they, at least one of their leaders, is actually recorded on there. And that's that's why I'm using Glenn Beck as a reference, because he actually has the physical evidence of it taking place, that this woman talks to spirits. This This woman laughs with spirits. And... Now there's a new book that I have just purchased and will start reading is uh, The Devil and Karl Marx and how Marxism is, is really this satanic surge of, of devilry, of, of all of this stuff that, so as we're, we're seeing all of this stuff about, you know, calling out names and, and he, he gets into it as well, is that that is literally spiritual warfare taking place and as christian groups are taking it to the other side and saying yes we agree with your clauses and this is okay rioting and looting and all of this anarchy is okay we as a church cannot stand with that we as a church do not riot we as a church do not go out and smash symbols of authority. We peacefully protest when we disagree with things. We peacefully protest. We are like our Lord in the fact that we love our enemies and we pray for those that persecute us. We don't, we don't hate BLM. We don't hate these other organizations. We love them unto Jesus because that, he is the hope of all nations. So I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time and really, you know, hey, that's that's why you know we're, we're closing the book on that. We're definitely going to keep our Friday night classes going and, and have video there because I feel like it's a good outreach and I've, I've really enjoyed it and I hope and pray it's been uplifting and encouraging to you. But this is a moment of, of intense crossroads that as we see what this organization is about and who this organization is actually taking notes from, we need to say no. We need to say absolutely not. And for brothers and sisters that are reached out and said, yes, we we need to encourage this. We need to accept them. We need to let their voices be heard. Eh, this is wrong. This is wrong. And we can talk about the, the other side of things of, you know, of, of what their side of the story is. But at the same time, it's like, you know, total kicking against all authority is literally a kicking against God and not wanting to be held responsible to any of your actions is wrong. So I just wanted to let everyone know that. And I, I seriously wanted to take this last little bit of time to encourage pastors and leaders to really reconsider who you are using to influence and encourage people on in their walks with the Lord. Because if you're using one of these ministry organizations that have gone over to that side and have literally stated, we support this, this is okay. Here's the theological undertonings to say, go ahead and do that. We cannot support that. Leaders, I, I ask you, just like myself, to pray about it, to really come to centrality of what do the scriptures say and what do we need to be about. So 
I thank you for joining us here today, and we'll, we'll talk to you next time.